Welcome back to the survival series, ladies and gentlemen. We are back on our boat here. That's got some uh, potential issues. I'm pretty sure these solar panels need to be flipped over to get effective. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I apologize for the delay in the next upload here. But I did get uh, one comment that was suggesting um, that things weren't progressing quite as fast, and I agree. Um, we've built the frame of this boat maybe, oh boy, three episodes ago, four episodes ago, and it still kind of just looks like this. So um, today I'm going to try recording for a long time and then maybe doing more editing rather than just speeding up the slower parts. So we'll see how that goes. You guys will have to let me know uh, how you feel about that. Or I might do terrible at the editing and it might still just end up being a you know two-hour video. We will find out. Um, either way, my goals today for sure are to get um, the little mining sub going, and then this water is dropping farther and farther each day, holy cow. <laughs> but um, someone did in the comments say what I needed to do on the uh, water uh, sucker, I should say, um, is a collector instead of a air vent to suck it in. So we might be able to get some hydrogen fuel after all. That being said, we're starting to run out of space, at least in the lower depths, which is where I would want to put that sort of collection. So we're going to start by extending it here. Don't want it unmanageably large. I think that's good. Beautiful. I'm gonna need some fuel though, which, ugh. All right, so we're gonna do kind of a, a wall of batteries here, which as these are charging, we might wanna finish these quickly just so that we can Get more power, maybe? Let's double it up. And then this one we'll put this way so that we can access it as needed. We'll use build mode for this because I definitely don't use it enough. Two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Negative nine days, huh? Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's actually finish these first. All right, beautiful. So we've got, oh, eight batteries. Okay. Yeah, that should be enough uh, backup storage to charge our sub and any other uh, vehicles that we want to add to this beast of a, of a ship. One thing I also forgot is we have probably all the necessary resources for um, max tier things so let's uh, uh oh I could have sworn I had platinum somewhere oops inventories come on guys platinum yeah oh it's just not refining either way I'm done using a <laughs> starter equipment so we are upgrading And then we will disassemble you three. Good riddance. And then get it out of the inventory. There we go. All right. 
I do need to weld everything up back here, but for the moment, let us get back to our collector. So what we'll do, I think, I wanna keep this connected somehow. We can put it in line, okay. Um, but yeah, I don't want it to be in the floor. I just want to be able to not cover up the batteries. So we'll put another one of these guys, which we'll have to grab the motors again. All right, so now that we're up in the front, we are gonna do, oops, uh, Hydrogen tank, not the, ooh. Should we do a big one? Nah. Not at the moment. And then uh, we're gonna need, yeah, like a piston or a hinge. How's the best way to do this? Probably like this. <laughs> this might be just too janky, but we will give it a try. Uh, piston, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Can't put that on there quite yet. Gotta put back you. And a hundred of you or so. Okay, then we'll put our H2 generator there. That's gonna be ugly. Just accept it, I guess. Cool, and then we can do four piston. Hee 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 hee. Now we gotta get all this stuff back. didn't match up aesthetically and okay I was gonna say I thought <laughs> each might be a different side entirely but it's fine it adds to the look okay so now all right collector Yes, not. We'll extend the piston all the way just to make sure. Do I have everything I need to build this? I better. Cool. Obviously not long enough for the current water, but uh, let's just make sure this does retract. I don't want it to break, but also I don't want to be here all day. Any day now. <laughs> hey, it did it. <laughs> Okay, cool. 
So that is set up. Now we just need a way to control it. So we just grab the piston. We should label that piston actually while we still have the chance. Is it just reverse? Down, up, down, up, yeah, okay. And then we can just leave the collector itself on. Does it just automatically collect? Hopefully. Okay. So now that that's done, we need to build a sort of similar contraption under the water here. Oh. Don't recommend diving underwater with your helmet open. <laughs> I just don't know why the water keeps sinking. You know? Oh, no, this is the right side. It is working. It's just kind of ugly. I was more thinking like an aircraft carrier landing strip, which I thought the solar panels would work with, but I don't know. If we can get unlimited hydrogen, <laughs> should we just add a bunch? That's probably the best and most efficient way to do it, so let's do it. Uh, yeah, let's use build planner, piston. We're going to do like four should be fine. I'm pretty sure this is how you get clang, but it's necessary. <laughs> it must be done. Of course, that commenter, commenter could have just been lying to me, but I'm really hoping not. Because I am wasting a lot of hydrogen right now. Okay, and we'll extend this one just to just to make sure it's fully in. Okay. Well, moment of truth, I guess. Uh, do I have? I guess I can just access it through here. It is filling up. Okay. It just works, people. It just works. We'll extend this one as well. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Cool. So now I just need to make a med pad of some sort. Or a med bay. Definitely one of the new ones. Not that I need a corner one necessarily, but it looks cool. Do I have silver? I thought I grabbed some. I do. Brad of iron? What? <sighs> well, that sucks. <laughs> At least our. Hydrogen tanks will continue to rise slowly, so. All right. So we have iron five kilometers that way. Well, that's gonna be the way we go. Boy, forgot how <laughs> weird this thing flies. There's our little base. She's ugly. Cobalt. Wow. 
<laughs> it landed on our starter base after I couldn't find it. Now it's just falling from the sky. This will actually be a part I cut out entirely this entire mining trip, so let's just skip to uh, my return. Uh-oh. We got hostiles. Oh. Woo. What are the odds it attacks me? Uh, we're gonna move just in case. Evasive maneuvers. While we do want to bring the fight to those people eventually. <laughs> This will not be the vehicle we do so in. At least not on purpose. It's still getting closer. Grr. Oh. here a bit. Did you see it there for a second? That thing's huge. Alright, it's slowly getting further away, so I think we can go back to mining safely. See it in the clouds. It's a big thing there. You look in the corner there. <laughs> you just stay right there, Mr. Corvette. Alright, welcome back to the base here. That cobalt is mocking me. Very annoying. Uh, anyways, we completely filled one cargo container with iron and, uh, stone and then almost filled the other so I think we've got enough to uh, to get us through our next stage of this project I don't know where's the best to park this because we don't have a connector on it yet but I guess that'll be fine I think that's terrible actually but oh well <laughs> you see that? <laughs> the ice. So does it actually... It does. It turns it into ice. The collector and the hydrogen. Which is... Interesting. I don't know how to feel about that, actually. <laughs> Considering... I don't know. No one said this mod was balanced, just that it was cool. Okay, got all that in there, so let's check out the refinery, yeah, over 100k iron, and it already did all the stone, so, but yeah, that should be enough to continue the project, which is our uh, med bay, so yeah, let's, let's get the floor going here, uh, light armor, oh crap. I made this ramp originally so that I could come in here like that, but that's now where the floor is going to be. Right? Like it's going to be here and here and here. Hmm. That's okay. We'll be able to access it through this. It's just sad that we're losing that part of it, but oh well does not matter look how fast that welds ah so good it's 
Let's just catch up on the back here a bit. <laughs> I guarantee I missed some. Oh, wait. Yeah, I was, thought maybe there was something to place there, but we could. I better move this guy. Ugh. But in order to put on the roof, I need to get these tubes done. Or these uh, tanks. So, yeah, let's, let's queue that up, I guess. Oxygen. I think there's 12. So, 10, 11, 12. Oh, shoot. What was that sound? It's getting closer. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah! Yo. You still fly? It does. Oof. This is a problem. Ugh. Oh boy. <laughs> we are under attack, people. This is not a drill. Though I would rather have it destroy this than uh Just trying to keep it somewhat targeted on me. Oh. Because <laughs> if it's firing at me, it's not firing at the ship. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is the worst game of chicken I've ever played. Stay close so that it keeps firing at me, though. Okay. I think it's finally gone. Oh, that's too close. Whew. Oh, what? Yep. Well... We're gonna plug this into that base and, uh. Whew. Oh, fetch. <laughs> Almost crashed there. And we are gonna grab everything out of this thing, except for those. Those can stay. <laughs> Do I have cobalt? Oh, that's in the refinery. Take our plushies. Take our ice and oxygen. Cool. Man. That was almost really rough. Assembler should have had time to finish its thing, so. That was terrifying. I, <laughs> I think I'm still in shock. The entire series could have 
come t crashing down there if that thing had just turned and leveled us. Ooh. I really should have built a smaller version of this before <laughs> before I jumped all in on just designing this off what I think will work. Okay. Well, that's good for now. So let's That's right. We'll use the regular med medical room because we don't need one quite that big. In fact, we could probably just sit this right here, right? Yeah, I think that works. And then let's actually turn you into a actual cargo container. Nope, not a big one or a fancy one, just a Standard run of the mill one. Ah, we need turrets. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, oh, okay. We'll be protected by the island. Oh, I lied. We might not be. Ooh, that's a big storm. Do they explode when they hit the water? They go into it. Yeah, I think those are underwater. It's just glitchy a little bit. Either way, we gotta get this done. <laughs> Boom, hydrogen refilled. We're, we're cooking with hydrogen, baby. And then to get down there, we can go down these steps, which I think is just positively delightful. We'll put lights and stuff down here too, but. All right, for now we're doing good. So let's continue though. That one's a little absurd, but it works. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's build some turrets while we still, while we still can. We'll give ourselves a hundred of those just in case and then interior plates the rest of it. So we've sort of piped this one up. Ooh, is that gonna rise above the plate? That's kind of cool. So yeah, that actually will be enough for now. Let's do, actually I've got all sorts of turrets. Should we do a modded one? Heavy defense turret, torpedo turret. Oh, does that work underwater? That'd be sick. Hailstorm, some of these I recognize, but I'm actually just looking for missile and meteorite defense currently, so good old Gatling. So we need Gatling ammo. How much can we make? We never got that much uh, magnesium, but there's a deposit over there somewhere. Cool. Slightly protected now, that's always nice. 
I need to consolidate my cargo containers already, but eh, for now. This will be fine. Is there any reason necessarily to sleep till day? No. Which we've done each time. Every time in this game. So let's let's free our deck up here again. Okay. And this is just gonna be covered, so I'd love to utilize the space if we could. Is there anything? Anything we could do to better utilize it? If needed, we could do conveyors across. Should we do turret on each side here? That could work. Yeah, let's do that. I don't really intend to do a whole lot of combat, but we've already taken shots, so let's prepare ourselves accordingly. Let's go all the way to the edge, just in case we need more. Okay, perfect. It's off centered, but it's okay. It's not really the focus. Oh, I guess we can we get center. Let's center it. Because yeah, now it's conveyor has conveyors up. It doesn't need to be that place, so Normally I would do like the conveyor words heading that way and then rotate them this way, but I don't think it matters in this sense, so. No. Look at that, fuel load, now it's not. <laughs> it's delightful. And actually that's gonna mess me up. Let's use the new conveyor caps. I actually haven't ever really used those before. Yeah, I don't even know what any of this is. <laughs> cool. It's pretty ugly, actually, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so, put you back, put you back. So next we'll finish the deck. We'll put probably artillery turrets on those. Oh, that back is just gonna be super heavy though. I'm still worried that we're gonna drop this thing into the ocean and it's immediately gonna like sink backwards. I will probably <laughs> do a save file, take a backup right before we chop it because Man, do I not ever want to turn this into a five or six episode waste. Yeah, so I think besides the thrusters on the back, everything is welded up.
go into bed just so I can see my progress better. Cool. It is coming along. Yeah, definitely going for that flat topped aircraft carrier look. So, yeah, I just hope it doesn't sink at this point. <laughs> Okay, yeah, time to round that out into a, a front of some sign. And I think we're getting too big a little bit. We'll, sh we'll cut it down rather than building out from it, so. Oh yeah, I remember my Minecraft days, baby. Clearly not. Well, no, actually that's that's pretty fine. And then just uh, ramp it up. Or actually, should we? I'm trying to think of how we would. Uh, My current plan for the mining submarine is gonna be like a crane, basically. Hinges and rotors and pistons that'll just kind of stick off the side and then into the water that the, that the uh, drill ship will attach to and then get lifted up. But do we want somewhere for it to be put? Or does that seem like a way to invite Clang? That's the real question. We could maybe add that. Yeah, let's do that. Just round out the uh, I like it. And I don't want to spend much more time on it, so <laughs> ah. Yeah, there we go. Ah, nope, up. There we go. Took way too long to match it up, but it is matched up now, which is what matters. Do the corner piece up there. You can't tell I'm sort of designing this by the seat of my pants, so hopefully it works out. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's fine. Technically fine. And then we'll do this guy here. And yeah. Technically it should be sloped down actually but either way all right so then it's an exterior one like this and this one's like that and that's and then a corner one there I imagine Cool. 
<laughs> that thing is so janky, but essential. All right, well, what I don't want to have happen here is just cover this up and then suddenly I've got this big, ugly uh, flat panel. Um, I was going to turn this back part into like a the conning tower, the command area, but the refinery kind of took over that, which is fine. I I love this how the staircase works here. That's just integrated. I've never integrated the refinery directly into the build like that, so I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Oh, and we can even do two modules on here. We'll definitely do that, though. We'll do that when uh yeah, when power becomes more friendly. Speaking of, now that we have hydrogen, we could do some engines, hydrogen engines for power. So let's do that. Where would make the most sense to put it? Um, honestly, we need more tanks, too. But I don't think one collector pulls in enough to uh or maybe actually yeah the connect the collector is fine it's this h2 generator that seems to be a little overwhelmed so what we'll do is we'll build a second one here or do we build a second one like this or like this no we'll build it like that and then probably connect more small hydrogens like so. Oof. Except we were needing this area for oxygen tanks. So yeah, we'll put two like that, not connected to anything. And then what, just, uh, I don't want to put these here, because then we'll start filling up those tanks, which we don't want to do. But I do want to get more than just one there. We could do one and then one across. That'll work. Okay. So first, you. Oh, so never mind. We actually can't do it like that, because... Because there's only one connect. Oh, and one on the bottom. Oh, so we'd have to make it ugly, but it would work. If we do that, then it'll start feeding the other one. So can't do that. Like so. Like. Should we sacrifice some space for the cool factor? Yeah. They just they're just really good looking blocks, so we'll just do it like this. Oh yeah. Now we've got one collector trying to feed two of these. Wonder if we can do like just split it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, except for one of them actually is draining, right? Two, four, eight. Yeah. So the second one's not getting fed nearly as much. Ugh, we're going to need more containers or more collectors. Or do we? We need like a few power cells. I can't remember, so we'll just make five. Oh, 
what we'll probably do is on our uh, we'll convey up our crane well yeah we will do that anyways but ooh yeah we gotta make sure that's what comes off of here so that it can travel all the way down the ship into the refinery we'll convey up our crane and then on the connector head good that's going away on the connector head we'll put a bunch of collectors with it so we can kind of just stick that down in the water either to grab our miner or not and just have it be collecting water and turning it into oxygen and hydrogen makes sense makes sense good good if these just work first try the fan spins I hope they're working fully recharged in two hours seems pretty good I forgot that there's access to my cargo there that's so cool but yeah I don't think we're with our current one connector this system is a little flawed but that's okay got our battery core here batteries are heavy blocks the back is heavy the middle is heavy and the front is gonna be probably heavy there's just no way that we have enough tubes to float this thing if anyone has more familiarity with this mod with the water mod and can tell me if I'm building a ship doomed to fail that would be awesome awesome to find out in advance Maybe I'm overcompensating to it too. Maybe the water will only go will go like right there. <laughs> Actually, these are up a block or so, so the bottom will definitely be submerged. But just hoping the rest of it isn't too. All right, let's start the foundation of the crane, and then I think we're gonna end it here. Obviously, we've uh, made some better progress than we had <laughs> before, so hopefully. Hopefully this episode will be more entertaining to watch for uh, for you guys. Ah, meteor storm. Well, uh, uh, hey turret, turret, turret. Well, <laughs> wasn't the most useless thing, but it was up there. Yeah, you feel proud? You happy? You still got ammo, so. All right, so yeah, let's. Ah, but we'll lose access to that controller. But that's okay. We've got the uh, panel right next to it that can access it. We'll probably do a button panel here because this has quite a few functions now rather than just a single button. Okay, hold on. I'm doing some thinking. I don't know if I've ever even really built a crane, but let's cover this deck so I don't have to worry about welding it up when it's done. So probably what we'll do, can't forget the aesthetics, very important. So we'll do kind of a, a foot here and a foot here. Then do we go all the way over to this side? I've never built a built a crane either, so this is kind of gonna be a fun little uh, experiment. Now we'll 
probably do is some stuff like this. I'm not gonna like put a cockpit on there necessarily. We'll probably control it from the ground. But here we'll put the rotor. Right? Yeah, rotor. So we can turn it. And then a piston. Oh, but we need to pipe it up. That's right. I decided that was a core tenant of this crane. <laughs> So we'll go all the way through there. But first we need a little bit of hydrogen. No. Oops. Yeah, see that one's already depleted. Oh. <laughs> and we'll do like that and then we'll change it to these so that it looks more pipey more cool like that I guess then we'll connect that somehow to the chain there and then rotors oh do rotors not have conveyors ah well in that case we might be out of luck in that department We should weld up the conveyor stuff since that'll get covered. And then I guess we'll just grab some steel plates and uh, we need you to roll down there. Hinge, large steel tubes and computers. I just push you. Ah. Okay, we'll control hinge. There's an incomplete hinge somewhere? Oh, <laughs> at the top. <laughs> With the merge block. I forgot about that. Eh, we're not doing that. Okay, so... Nope, other way. Easy peasy. And then we'll do another hinge here, but like I don't I don't foresee needing to uh <laughs> adjust this angle at all, but besides turning it down. Actually, none of this needs to be adjusted, but it looks cooler to be able to adjust it. It's always the wrong way. And then what, just pistons? Yeah. Right. Well, that's probably excessive in the piston department just because they'll extend quite a bit. And we do want it to be crap. I don't know how big the sub's gonna be, so we need extended. <laughs> oh. <sighs> nope, you gotta build it before you can adjust it. Ain't no way. How did I? <laughs> I thought for sure I was adjusting it the right way. Oh, I'm just cursed. Just cursed. All right. We'll double up the pistons here. Okay. And then what I was thinking was a junction with a connector on the bottom to grab the sub and then collectors 
on the outside. Four displays. That's an interesting requirement. Son of a gun. We're running out of everything around here. We don't need that much, but we do need a couple hundred there. I don't want to end the episode until I test that this works, but man, is it taking its sweet time. Okay, that's all connected. Let's just do a quick and dirty connection over there. Which that in turn connects into there, which connects through there, into there. Is there issues passing certain stuff through tanks? I don't think so. But either way, we'll find out. So now let's go to uh, pistons. Oh boy. Let's see, what are you set at? 10, 10, 10, 10, 0, 0. Okay, so these are going to be crane, I believe. Crane, piston 2. And then we will name all these collector piston before. Oh, well, that's okay. I didn't even stick to my own naming scheme, but basically let's extend you slowly for dramatic effect. Oh, <laughs> except for it's not gonna be long enough to get in the water. Uh, oh well. You guys see the plan. This will work. It'll drop the sub into the depths and uh, hopefully be long enough to, oh yeah, definitely long enough to be underwater and collect water for us. That'll get sucked up through the crane. I crane in air quotes. This is a platform for a connector. Which will come down into here. This will be formalized into something a little more useful, but like probably H2 collectors and whatnot, which will then, any ores from the sub will get passed through these tanks into the cargo containers, into the assembler and into the refinery. It's not uh, super efficient, but it, it does the trick. It works, that's what's important. I do not want to be carrying loads of ore between the submarine and the refinery. But that being said, I think that's the end of this super long episode here. Maybe it'll end up being pretty short, but it was definitely long to film. Looks like I'm hitting hour 141, so... But either way, that's a nice, cool little <laughs> atrocious thumbnail right there, so... I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and tell me what you want to see happen. If you've got any design critiques or uh, suggestions moving forward, let me know. And uh, I will see you guys all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.